Hey, this is Cycling Explorer. Today I want to talk about sprint or sprinting. And it's real important when you're in a race or you happen to be on a ride with a bunch of people and you want to break away, you have to have the ability to do that. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. So basically, what I'm talking about is a set. And a set happens to be three of something. So I want you to go all out for one particular time, 15 seconds for a set of three. So you're going to do this 15 second burst three times. That's one set. So if you happen to be a beginner, I want you to do it two times. If you happen to be an intermediate cyclist, then you're going to do it three sets or three times. If you're advanced, what you do it four sets. Now what's going to happen is you're going to take off and you go for 15 seconds and then what? Well, I want you to rest for three to five minutes after you do that particular uh, breakaway sprint. So you're going to rest there. And then after you do the three sets, instead of three to five minutes, I want you to rest for 10 minutes. And then do that again after the second set, third set, fourth set, wherever you happen to be. Now the question is, what exactly do I do? Well, there are four different ways you can do this. The first one is you're at a stop position and you go out where you figure 15 seconds is away, a lamp post, the end of your driveway, a fire hydrant, whatever the case may be, but you go all out. So you're giving it 100% of your all for 15 seconds breakaway speed. If you haven't seen cyclists and races do this, that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to get a competitive advantage. And if you practice this, you're going to have it. So then the next and another one that's fairly easy to do is you're going downhill, figure on some downhill where you can get at least 25 miles an hour out of it. And when you hit the bottom, that's where your 15 seconds start. Now gravity's working against you, but I want you to keep that pace of wherever you happen to be going exactly where it's at for 15 more seconds. So you're going to give it that push, but you got gravity working against you. The third way to do it is you're riding down a flat surface and you're going say 15, 18 miles an hour depending upon where you happen to be. So you're riding hard and then I want you to give it 15 seconds of your all. No more, just 15 seconds. So 100% everything you got just for 15 seconds. And then don't forget to rest because you're already going to be riding hard. And the fourth way and probably the hardest is doing this uphill. So obviously you're going to need to change your gears down a little bit. But you're going to start, uh, you know, a normal uphill ride, you know, gear five, gear eight, whatever you're comfortable with, depending upon the incline. And then for 15 seconds, you're going to give it everything you got to get up that hill. Now, the advantage of this is gravity is also working against you, so it's going to work on those muscles as well. So these are four different ways you can look at sprinting, and hopefully these tips will help you improve your cycling. This is Cycling Explorer, hoping you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.